okay model this out today we're looking at our 70 second scale f15c now this is a fairly new one from academy this is a special edition one a california version and this one here i got this off my mate that owns the local shop that i was saying about in a few other my videos some um, scale autos uh, his name's shane and i've got his card here um, i'll hold this up to the camera like i've done in other videos hopefully this will focus and you can read it get it to focus there we go and should be able to get all the information off that um, but i'll put the information down below in the link anyway i've got this kit here uh, he's got these what he does he buys them on special from the suppliers we got this one here for thirty dollars well i think it was twenty eight dollars or something he's got on the shelf for um, so he's really looking after us local modelers now he does do mail order and he has got paypal so if you want to get these kits um just give the guy, the guy a bell obviously if you're in australia it's probably the best way but if you're overseas it's going to cost too much to ship it but any any of you guys here in australia that build these kits um, honestly there's an absolute bargain he done a little bit of a special deal for me um, he cut that price down um, mainly because like I, I sort of shot with him quite a bit um, and he does really look after us modelers they're a really nice plate to deal with but um, I'm really really glad this I got this kit um, it was one of them ones I've actually looked at online and thought yeah I really want to get my hands on one of these so really really happy with it uh, the box art I just love the new Academy box art that they're doing with these things where they're actually putting some really really nice photographs and stuff on the covers and the box art on this and even their box designs the new designs looks some looks so much more modern than their older stuff um really really happy the box art on this is beautiful it's one of them ones i'm going to cut the box art out and keep that uh, i do that with a lot of my kits if i really like the box art i actually take that cover off and i keep that now uh, on the side here we've got the different versions that you can build with the colors on there and i'm not sure which way i'm going to go yet it's something i'm sort of going to decide as i go through the build i'll have a bit more of a look of it um, this one here i want to build it up fairly soon guys i really want to get this one done it's, it's something that i'm really looking forward to doing you've got your paint paint index there as well with your color call outs um, so I'm, I'm, that's actually a good idea having those on the box as well um, a little bit of information in the different languages which is all, all good as well but like i say because it's a fairly new kit what i'm, I'm planning to do for you guys is do some newer stuff and um, when I get it I'll build them up pretty much straight away because uh, I do do some older stuff as you see I've got a big collection of kits and like a lot of old stuff that I do as well but I'm sort of missing out on doing the newer stuff and I know a lot of you guys really love the 70 second scale or even some of the 48 scale stuff with the, the more modern jet fighters so I'll try and get a few more of those out to you guys and now I've got a bit more time on my hands I'll, I'll be able to pump a few more out anyway guys we'll start going through the box here and have a bit of a look see what we got inside and the first thing we've got is our instructions here and on the front here we've got our color call outs again with our numbers so you've got your humbrol um, mr color stuff you've got your life colors um, revel testers vallejo uh, there's no tamir there which um, i mean that happens with quite a few kits these days that don't have tamir color call outs but you can always reference those online anyway guys and, and find out what colours you need if you're using Tamiya stuff which I use quite a bit of Tamiya. Okay the first one here we've got our, our panels going together for our cockpit and it looks like it's some um, decals that are going on to make our instrument panels. We'll have a look at the parts as we go through but I don't expect them to be actually um, moulded into the parts so I think they're just going to be flat with, uh, with decals going on there because 70 second scale a lot of kits especially at the prices you're getting this at um, you, you don't really expect that sort of detail so it's pretty simple putting that together then it goes into the bottom part of our fuselage there then it looks like the internals for our jets going in there um, then the, the bottoms our wings going over and that's yeah they've got the weapon pods going on though i'd probably actually put those on a bit later because they're one of those things you can actually knock off as you're going around and building other stuff you can knock those off so i'd probably leave those to a bit later in the build but it's one of the things about going through the instructions straight up guys so you know what you you know i'll probably mark that in red pen to let me know that they're left off they have to be put on later on it's one of the things going through the instructions working out your build process as you go through and then we've got our seat going together here then we've got the top part of our wings going on to the bottom part part of the fuselage uh, we've got all our little little details going on the outside here now these again i will probably leave these off till way later in the build because i don't want to be knocking stuff like that off when you're starting to 
put these things together and you're always playing with it and especially you've got a lot more stuff to put on there yet handling it there's just too much of a risk knocking those off so I'll put those on later here we've got looks like you can cut off these parts here and their replacement parts that go on uh, got our exhaust systems going on for our jets here our burners and that tail wings going on now looking at this it looks like it's got the the circle build so you can actually move those backwards and forwards so you can have them you know adjusted to angles but I'll probably have them just sitting nice and square and flat uh, intake covers going over here the front of our intakes going together this has always been a, a thing with the, the F-15s is putting these intake covers on most kits well the ones that I've built you always they never seem to line up properly and they just never they just never go into place like they're supposed to, and there's always a lot of filling and sanding going around so it's going to be interesting to see how good these go on we've got our nose going on there now it has got the shape of the nose so it's got upper and lower telling you which way that goes on there don't get that wrong because otherwise you're going to have like a nose that's pointing up or pointing square which is not supposed to be then our landing gear uh, nose landing looks like it's done in three parts um, the tail landing both of these two parts so that's nice and simple um, and you've got two places where it sits down into the fuselage there to hang on to those landing bays and we'll have to see just how strong they are two parts because normally you have like another arm that sort of braces them but doesn't show that in there so we'll have to see how they go got our tail hook going on there next page this is where we're starting to do our weapons our launches and things like that um, so again I, I dare say you'll have options guys like you'll be able to work out look at some photos bit of reference material online um, I love the internet these days you can just jump on the internet and find out a bit of information whereas years ago you had to own some books or some reference material like these days you can just jump online there's so much information out there so it'll be up to you guys how you want to do that a canopy here so you've got a the the base of our canopy going on there as well next we've got okay so this goes over to our decal call outs now now this is the common data page which goes on all the bills and then we've got the one for the different the, the separate you know separate types and like I say I'm going to sort of have to decide before I build it which one I want to go with but um, yeah I'll choose that a little bit later as I get to that the stage where I want to build it but I mean I love all these I'd love to be able to build all four of them to be honest they're just beautiful uh, and on the back page here you've got your sprue call outs which you can see there's not a lot of sprues in this it's fairly fairly basic but 70 second scale you sort of expect that um, here we've got our decals and they look really nice and fine some beautiful nice fine de decals in there guys I can see there if there is a lip around if they are raised it's only very very slightly but I can see the edges of them but um, if you put them on with a bit of future and a bit of setting solution, they should be fine. But some really nice detail in some of this. Really, really nice. The eagles, the screaming eagles on the back, absolutely beautiful. I love those things. They're so wicked looking. Uh, so you've got the two different versions there, obviously. Very, very nice. I'm just looking at some of the... Um, trying to look at the, the clear parts around them. There's, there's some, like down here, this, these obviously go on in a big strip. And you can see a big clear part, but... We'll see how they go on when we actually put it together. And okay, so we'll start having a look at the parts now. And I'm looking at the engraving is quite nice. Actually, it's not um, it's not overdone. It's that, well, it's very representative of the newer kits. It's not overdone. They're not big, deep trenches stuck into it. Um, the cockpit floor is very basic, but you expect that you're really not going to see any of that down in there. Once the canopy goes over it, you're not going to see much of the floor at all, the foot pedals. Most 70 second scale, that's all your foot pedals are. It's two little lumps coming out of there. That's fine, but yeah, the, just looking at the engraving, really nice. There's no, um, I can't see any flash on there. Uh, injector pin marks, look, well, they're all on the insides and places where they're not going to be seen, which is really nice. Um, the, yeah, even the engraving here, the rivet detail around these is just absolutely beautiful, guys. Really, really fine. Um, our rails here for launches, again, some really nice engraving on there. Very, very happy with that sprue so far. Okay, we'll get into the big stuff here now, and I won't worry about taking this out of the bag. Um, well, actually, what I might, I, I might actually open that bag because it's got three sprues in the one bag, so I'll quickly open that up for you. And have a look at that clear part, it gives us a bit more of it, and that's beautiful. I, I can see that even just through that plastic bag, beautiful crystal clear. 
canopies on there. Very, very nice, guys. And you've got your, um, your canopy frame going over the middle there. Very nice. Around the bottom, I can't see much of an engraving around there, but that's fine. Just absolutely beautiful. Just a surprise how clear that is. It's just absolutely beautiful. And we'll get another one of those sprues out of here. It seems like they're a little bit stuck together. Okay, so here's the bottom half of our fuselage. Again, the engraving on there is absolutely superb. Just beautiful. Um, I mean, if you're trying to compare it like to the one-to-one -one scale, you, you're always going to say, oh, it's overdone, because in this scale, you, you'd barely even see it. It'd be that fine. But to make it stand out as a model, you've got to make the panel lines pop to make it look realistic as a model. So, And they're definitely not overdone. Just looking at the curvature around the bottom of the tails here, there's actually a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's rotting or river detail. It's really, really, oh, it is rotting. It's raised. It's so fine, so you have to be careful if you're going to sand that, guys, because that will disappear. A couple of rubs, that'll be gone with sandpaper, so just be aware of that. That's very, very fine detail, and it's stuff that will make or break something if you're after a really, really nice finish. Stuff like that would really stand out. And nose here, obviously the nose is sort of laid down. Actually, they've moulded it like that. I thought it might have been broken, but it's not. They've actually moulded it laying down, so you haven't got a pointy nose sticking up out of the plastic. It's a great idea. Um, the seat's got some nice detail in it. I'm just looking at the seam lines. They're all in the right places. We're not going to disturb you too much as a building process. Inject uh, the pin marks are all in places where you're just not going to see them. Exhaust systems are nice. Uh, these guys here may be a problem. They're very, very fine, and you haven't got much. You won't be able to get snippers in there. You have to use a sharp knife to take them off. Um, so just be careful when you're doing that guys because they're, they're very very fine and they just attach very close to the sprues So it's something you're gonna have to be aware of looks like our nozzles actually have got um, Like shapes on there so they fit in like like a like a Lego block so you don't get them in the wrong position Another great little idea I'll Take out our last sprue now guys and have a quick look Let's See what we've got going on here and this is the top part of the wing, and I've got to say, that's really impressive. Just absolutely beautiful. All the details on there that you want, um, really finely engraved. Very, very nice. That looks really nice. Um, looking at our intakes, again, same thing. The, the, the engraving's pretty much standard over the whole thing, guys. It's just really, really nice and fine. Um, I can see these two intakes here, and looking at the engraving on those, they, they seem to be... They seem to be a little bit heavier on one than the other. It might be just a light that I'm looking in, but um, it's still, again, even that one there, it looks might be, they might be just a bit deeper. They're not wider, they're just deeper. But, um, you know, a lot, a lot of these things too, remember, you don't want them too fine because what happens if you put a like an undercoat on there, then your base colour, and then you weather it up. If they're really, really fine, they'll disappear on you, so you don't want that. Now here's all the little fine parts that go on. Like I say, they'll go on there last. I don't want to put those on and handle them model and knock them off. But I'm really impressed with how nice that looks, guys. Just some beautiful detail engraved into that. Very, very nice. But as you can see, just for those few sprues that are in there, it's a fairly basic build. It's a 70 second scale, so you don't expect it to be too overly engineered. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a really nice, quick, fun build to do this one. And we're going to have to wait till we put it together to see if there's any fit issues. But... Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Like I say, it's a bit of a newer kit, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, that's about it. That's everything out of the bags now. Um, I can't sort of say much more about it. That's about it. There's other bits of paper in there, just little advertising things for tools and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, looking forward to doing this one. Like I say, I'm going to try and get this one done fairly quick and fairly soon. And um, I'll definitely be putting the build up on YouTube for you guys to have a look at. But like always, guys... Make sure you sub down below if you haven't subbed. Leave comments down there. Um, give my mate a call or send him an email. Um, if you're interested in these kits, I'm sure he can get hold of some for you if you're in Australia. Uh, like I say, he does PayPal and all that sort of thing, and he really look after. He's, he's a nice guy to deal with. Uh, really looks after us modelers because he's a modeler himself, so um, he knows you know, what, the, what the gig's all about. Okay, modelers, so the point we're up to, as you can see, I've got the bottom part of the fuselage. And the top part of the fuselage, like including the wings, but there's no nose on there yet. And I haven't really struck any bad fit issues. There's a little bit, like where the joins are, that's not actually a fit issue. You can see where I've got the, um, 
like I've got the putty in there, that's not actually a fit issue, it's just I like to make sure the seams are clean. The only place it didn't line up is down along the back of the tail here where you can see I've got a little bit more putty along here. Uh, there was a little bit of a step up between those two, so I've had to clean that up. Uh, but other than that, it's all gone together really, really well. All the wings went together beautifully. Uh, no real fit issues other than just those, those little bits of the tail, and they're not too bad at all. Uh, wings went together really nice. Um, again, just clean the front seam up on your wings there. Make sure that's nice and clean. And also along um, the arm rails here, like where it joins onto the bottom of the wing, I'll put a little bit of putty along there too, and I'll clean that right off just to make sure there's definitely no gaps in that in there. It wasn't a bad fit, it's just a, something I do a lot of the time to make sure I clean up all the seams. Uh, one of the things that I noticed going through the instructions that you sort of have to be aware of, uh, this little piece in here, which is actually that part there, that has to actually be taken off. We have to cut that off, um, and it tells you to do that in the instructions here. And, and something like that, believe it or not, is fairly easy to miss. And to be honest, unless there's something that won't fit because that's there, I'm not sure. But if you finish the aircraft and you're like me, you don't know the ins and outs of every aircraft you build, it's probably a mistake I would make leaving that on there. Other people might pick it up and say, that's not supposed to be on that aircraft. But it's just something to be aware of. Always, with your instructions, look at every little little uh, piece to make sure that you're actually doing every little step. Make sure it's all in there. And look at these little icons to make sure you get it right. Now, there's one there um, for the bottom and one for the top. Or one for the bottom and that one there is for the top. So you, I took one off, but I haven't taken the other one off yet. So I'll do those um, in the next step. And then the next part is actually putting the... Uh, the seat and everything in here uh, for the inside of our cockpit um, and then putting the uh, the piece that goes up to the back of our cockpit on and uh, then there's a few minor details but I'm not going to put those on until I'm ready to paint it like always I don't like putting those fine parts on because they're things that are too easy to knock off when you're trying to handle the kit and still put it together and paint it and things like that they're one of the last things I put on there so anyway guys I just thought I'd sort of get you up to date on where I am with this um, I'll keep chugging along and I'll turn the video on at the next step. Okay modelers, just a quick little uh, tip here on building this kit. We got the, uh, we're starting to do the exhaust systems now. There, This is your main part. Now to put the actual exhaust out the back there, they're actually in five parts. These guys here, you've got to cut five of those out, glue the ends on sort of thing. They have got little notches where you've got to line them up and all that sort of thing inside there. Uh, sorry, they're coming out this way. Uh, you can see the notches inside there where they've got to line up. Now, one of the things you've got to be careful of, there is actually where you cut it off the sprue here. Um, there's actually a little step up where you've got to leave a bit on there, okay? It's very, very hard to see. It's just a little tiny dent you can hardly even see. But if you cut it off flash with the part, you're actually cutting off the tab that lines them up inside there. So be careful when you cut them off. I'll just... Um, I will try and hold this up to the camera, we'll see if we can get it to focus and maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. You see, oh, I'll use the other hand here. You see there's a bit of a step up just there, okay? And make sure you cut it off there, not next to the part up here, otherwise you lose that little tab. And it's very hard to see, oh, the first one I did actually cut the tab almost off before I realised what I'd done. So, um, yeah, just be careful when you do that. Um, just the other thing to be aware of with these two guys, you have got some here, these are actually your closed vents, just like the closed ones. You can put those on um, without having to do these ones because the other ones, you've got that part, then you've got the five of these that go around the outside, then you've got these little guys to stick on there. Um, now, they look much more detailed, much prettier when you, when you do the, the individual pieces um, with the smaller pieces rather than just that one big chunky piece, so I'm going to go that way and have a look at them and see if I'm happy with it. If I'm not, um, yeah, I can just cut those off and go with that. But if you're just looking for a quick, easy build, you can just put these guys on. Um, it doesn't, it does show you instructions, but it just sort of, the first step is showing you're putting the other parts all together. Then the next step, when you're putting those exhausts on the aircraft, then it gives you the option of either one. Um, so you could probably get caught going through the instructions step by step and making these up and then realising oh, I didn't have to make them up. So, yeah, just be aware of that. See, modelers, we're at the point now that uh, we're pretty much finished putting it all together. And I've got to admit, this, it's a beautiful looking bird. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I just love the shape of this thing. It's one of those awesome looking aircraft, just so sleek. But um, as far as putting it together, guys, it's actually a really nice little kit. Now, only those little fit issues I showed you there before are the only issues that I found. And they're not major, just 
probably the most major one was around here on the sides of these intakes, the back of the intakes. Uh, I had to do a little bit of file and sand to get those to line up and a bit of filling. But other than that, really, really nice, really nice to go together. Uh, around where the flap goes down in here, it takes a little bit of work to make sure that sits down nice and flush. Um, it either goes in too far or it sticks out on one side and not the other side. I played with that for a while until I got it right. That's something you'll have to do is just keep playing around with it until you get it in the right spot. Then wax some glue on there, get it to sit in there. Um, but other than that, guys, went together really nice. Uh, we got, I'm not going to put any weapons on this. I've just got the arms on there to hold the weapons, but I'm not actually going to put weapons on there. I sort of ummed and ahed about putting the big fuel canisters underneath it, but uh, I don't think I'll worry about it. Um, I'm just going to leave it the way she is. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will paint the weapons up separate and um, I, I might put them on later. I'm just not sure. I just want to paint this up because I love the paint scheme. Just the paint scheme alone is going to bring this thing to life. I did decide to put the ladder on there. Uh, the canopy probably not sitting down exactly flush as you can see, but that's actually going to be lifted up. It's going to be sitting up and there's a, a, a like an arm that sits up and holds that up in there. So it'll all be posed open, you'll be able to see inside the cockpit and see all that pretty stuff we've got in there, the gauges and so on. But uh, not much else to say about it. I've got the um, the cans, our exhaust here. I've got those separate. I'm going to paint those separate uh, because they're going to be all like the, the burnt metals and things like that. And I'll put those on afterwards. It'll save me trying to tape off in between these two tail wings, which would be a bit of a pain. So... Um, this one's going to be the paint scheme that come with the kit, which is going to be like a two-tone effect. Um, so I'm sort of deciding which way I want to go. I might put the, the brighter tone on first and then put the other tone around that, like mask off the, the brighter stuff and then put the other tone around. I think it's going to be easier to do it that way. Um, but I'll have to sort of look at that as I go. But that's the next step in the process, guys. So I'll get on with that and I'll be turning the camera back on at certain stages in the painting. Okay, modelers, just forgive the, the noise of the air vents running in the background there. I've been doing a bit of painting again. Um, I just want to let you know the stage we're up to here. I've got all the decals on the kit now. And as you can see, they look fairly bright and they stand out quite a bit at the moment. Uh, but that's mainly because they haven't been dulled down yet or anything. They're just straight, they're just straight on there. And um, so I've got to go down and dull everything around. So the next step I'm going to do now, because I already have got a clear coat over it, I'm going to go around all the panel lines. And the way I'm going to do it is with the uh, the pen, this one here that I normally use, the Sharpie pen. And I've got the nip, like, like the uh, the nib or the nip or whatever they would call it. I've got a little slice off there to give it a really sharp edge so I can go around and draw into the panel lines. Uh, when that dries I go over with a, a bit of a damp cotton bud. One of these guys here. Okay, and I'll just wipe it over and clean that off. And it sort of gives you a bit of a look, hopefully you can see on the tail here. Um, it's still a bit grimy because I haven't cleaned it off properly, but um, that'll give you a bit of an idea of what we're going to end up with, okay? And so you've got to keep sort of, you know, using clean buds and everything. If you use the same one over and over, it's just all it's going to do is smear that black around. So that one there is a little bit cleaner, and as you can see, it just cleans off a lot of it. So rub in the direction of the airflow, and what that'll do, it'll leave a few little streaks, a few little dark streaks in the direction of the airflow. And as you see by the tail, that sort of stands out a lot more now than what the, the plain tail does. Um, so it looks like it's actually a bit of a used aircraft there. So I'm going to go over the whole aircraft underneath and on top. So it takes a while to do that. I could use a, a panel wash on this, um, but the look I'm after is... I've got to do it with the, um, with the pen for the look I'm after. Okay, modelers, so the point we're up to here now is I've pretty much got up to... I've done the panel lines, cleaned them back, and I put a flat coat over it. And I forgot to mention the last part here. Hopefully you can see these under the light because it's night time here at the moment. Uh, and forgive my dirty hands, guys. I've been working on this for the last six hours. But um, hopefully you can see the exhaust there. All I've done with those to, to get that colouring is I put a um, like a black coat over it. Then I put over like a silver coat, like an aluminium coat. And then I went over with different colours, as you can see, like clear blue, clear orange, clear purple, clear smoke, and just done some patterns over it, just to give those a bit of a life. Um, so they look like they're fairly well used, okay? And that's all I've done with those. And that's pretty much where we're up to. So what I'm doing now is... I'll flatten this paper out here. Now, all I'm doing is I've got some oils mixed up over to the side here, 
and it's a little bit of white and grey and all that is is just oil paint on a little tiny brush like this fella here I wipe off the excess on a piece of tissue now you've seen me do this sort of stuff before uh, I'm going to try and pick a panel where you can actually see this happening I'll zoom in a little bit so we can definitely see this going on okay so we'll do this panel here okay so I've wiped off the excess now and all I'm going to do is in the middle of the panel it's just a little bit of scrubbing with this brush that's got that lighter oil color on it and as you can see the middle of the panel is fading down okay and you can see that's very very distinct there so what I'm going to do now is a nice big fine brush just rub that around and all that does is blend that in so that it's not too stark I'll hold this up hopefully we'll be able to pick this up in the camera once she focuses and you can see the panel I've done there where the middle is actually faded down I'm going to go over all the light greys and then the darker grey I'm going to add a little bit more black into the oils so it's a little bit darker grey but a little bit lighter than what's actually on there now one of the things with um, that I found with this, the decals on this get this to focus again you can see the star on the wing there um, didn't really turn out very good at all um, what's happened there is the colour um, of the star is sort of blended in with uh, with the wing now I know they're supposed to be barely visible but because they're such thick decals that's actually turned out really really bad I really don't like that at all um, the rest of the decals have turned out fine the eagles on the tail and all that sort of thing which I'll get up here now as you see they've turned out beautiful it's just that one there uh, all the rest the stars underneath they've turned out beautiful as well just the colouring of that one there just turned out absolutely awful. Um, I know that on the wings they are supposed to be really faded and barely visible, but um, that just doesn't look right to me. Right, what I'm going to do though is see if there's some other decals on the sheet that I can replace it with to make a little bit more stand outish. And by looking at it, I've got the number 30s down here, and I'll be able to replace that with one of those. Um, but that's going to take a little bit of repair work to do that. But anyway guys, I'm going to keep going on with this fading. Um, the next step after that is I'm going to lift the, uh, the canopy up. I'm going to go over the panel lines and do that sort of darkening around the panel lines. And as you can see, just with what I've done there now, it looks like a bit of a used aircraft. It looks like it's actually been in flight. She's had a bit of use. Um, so, and that's what we're after. We don't want it to be absolutely grubby and grimy and, you know, like it's in battle or anything. But we want this thing to be, you know, she's done a few flights and hasn't been cleaned. And that's what I sort of after. Anyway, guys, I'll keep you on with this and I'll turn the camera back on at the next step. Okay, model so as you can see, we're pretty much finished off here now. Uh, I've got a replacement canopy because um, when I was playing with the canopy earlier on, I sort of I tried to squeeze it in somewhere and it actually cracked on me. Um, plus, because it was cracked, I didn't take too much care of putting the canopy on. So, don't take too much notice of the canopy with the fogging and stuff like that because, like I say, I didn't take too much care. And as you can see, if I just touch that, it's still sort of wiggly on there. Um, I haven't got it stuck in place because I've got a replacement one. Um, it's actually a, um, a vac form one for another kit, but I'm hoping it's going to fit on here. Um, There's my own fault because, um, I don't know, I'm always hopeless with canopies. Uh, it didn't fit around the nose there. So what I try to do is sort of push it to one side, super glue it on one side, push it to the other and tack it down, but it actually cracked it. So I thought, well, okay, if it's cracked, I'm not going to worry about trying to keep it too clean. But um, other than that, it's it's all gone together absolutely beautifully. I've got, I've got to say, this is a really, really nice little kit, guys. Um, if you have the chance, I definitely would recommend grabbing one of these and um, doing it up. And as you can see, I don't want to sort of push it around too much in case anything breaks on it because they're fairly delicate. But it's come up really, really nice. Uh, I know the panel line um, darkening that I've done on there, some people really don't like that. They don't like that look, but I actually don't mind it. Um, because in scale, it sort of makes it pop out at you. It makes it look like it's, um, I don't know, like it's a, more of a piece of art than realism. Uh, but it makes everything pop out at you when you do that. And I know there's a bit of an argument to be had about uh, darkening up panel lines um, as compared to making it re look realistic. But I'm going to do a whole video on that on itself, like a little bit of a discussion about um, having the darkened panel lines compared to realistic looks. But um, everything else is going together nice. I've done, like I say, the panel line shading. I've put a flat coat over it to protect it. And that's pretty much all I've done since I last turned the video on. And as you can see, it's come out really, really nice. 
I'm not going to do any fade grass guys, especially with the cracked canopy because that's just going to ruin the whole effect for you. But um, hopefully you can get a, get a good look at it on this video. I'm going to turn it around nice and slow so you can get a really good look at everything and see how nice everything's come up. And like I say guys, it's, it's an absolutely beautiful kit. If you get a chance, definitely build one of these. Um, really, really nice. I'm going to turn a focus setting on that I've got on here and hopefully that'll focus a little bit better for you because... Uh, it's a bit hard for me with this camera to get it to focus on anything, but um, like I say, nice kit, definitely recommend doing it. Um, the uh, cockpit, I could probably do a little bit more work inside the cockpit. I haven't actually finished the cockpit off as nice as I probably could have, but um, this was a little bit of a quick build. I wasn't never going to um, spend too long in this kit and make it like you know too sort of detailed. It's just a quick build. Like I say, I got it fairly cheap. And uh, I just wanted to do this this aircraft because it's a beautiful looking bird. Uh, and this kit, I've got to say, it really does it justice. It comes up really, really nice. So guys, um, if you haven't built one of these, the F-15 Eagle, I can definitely recommend this. And uh, do yourself a favour if you want to build an F-15. This is probably a really nice kit to, to go with uh, in 70 second scale anyway. Uh, but anyway guys, like always, thank you very much for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this build. Like I say, it's a fairly quick build. It's nothing too superb. Um, I've done much better builds and I, could, I actually will be doing much better build, builds in the future. I just want to get this, this one done, pump it out and just to sort of do a bit of a review on the kit and the build up itself. So anyway guys, um, check out all my links below. I've got a heap of links down there to my Facebook, to Patreon, to um, all sorts of things. So check all those links down there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, the uh, sub button's down there, hit that. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And any comments, guys, criticism, I'm open to criticism. As, as you all know, you would have seen in my other comments. If there's criticism, please put it down there um, and we can talk about it. Uh, the other thing is, on this kit here, I made sure I've got the decals on the around, around the right way. One of my other kits that I've done with the American Bird, I've got the, uh, the American Star the wrong way around. And... I think it's about five people on that video have picked it up so far. Um, but yeah, I've made sure this time I've got them in the right way around. Uh, and actually, just before I go, the decals on this were really nice. They actually settled down really, really nice. I did use a little bit of static solution on them. But um, yeah, they are nice decals, except for the one on the wing here, which I say I'm going to fix. But when I do the canopy, I'm going to fix that as well. I will do that video to show you how to fix that canopy. Um, take it off and repaint it without damaging too much the rest of the aircraft and I'll show you how to get that decal off there as well um, and fix that up but anyway guys like I say sub down below check my links out uh, thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video